vampire, he steals your light, he takes a piece of you, and then he infuses the devil's seed in, in you from him and puts a little evil from him into you that you can never take out of you. It's like soul ties. You gotta, I wanna be hypnotized actually. I wanna be hypnotized and, and want, you want y'all to tell me what I said and what I did while I was under. President. No, we're not talking about, we're talking about Diddy. We're gonna come back to that LB. Stay with okay. me. We don't Whoa. go any further till we get the result. Man. Hey, but anyway, um, once, 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 once I found that out, I've been living my life for the last 20 years not knowing that had even happened to me. And now because Man. they found out that I know that I'm on them tapes with them doing that to me, these are people that have smiled in my face since then. I had the Dilla, the ball jiggler is back in the news, people. But before I get started with this video, y'all do me a big favor. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell. The Dilla, the ball jiggler is back in the news, y'all. A worker slash accuser slash victim by the name of Adrian English did a very, very exclusive interview with a YouTuber by the name of Lionel B. When you all get a chance, please go check out the full interview on this channel. But during the interview, Adrian laid some shit on everybody, man, that goddammit, it would be hard to get off of. And when I say shit, you will know what I mean by the end of this video. Like the video and please subscribe, y'all. This is the War Hip Hop Podcast. I don't think anybody's looking at that thinking that's a that's a kid laying there. You're assuming it's a grown woman. So he made everybody be with a minor, you know, against your will, and he recording the shit. Same girl needed to do a number two on stage. She performed and she told him, I need to go off stage. I need you to the bathroom. He told her no. She ended up shit on stage. It was a wet. Went everywhere. And Denzel Washington grabbed up his wife, mobbed up the Diddy, and was like, man, you don't respect nobody. He had to run up out there. <laughs> that, that's the thing. That's the incident they're talking about with Denzel Washington. had to run up out of there. So that's why Denzel and his wife left that party because of that incident. Because she shit on stage. And she was only 14 years. He didn't know she was 14. It was just the fact that she shit on stage. And in front of everybody. And then Diddy took her to a room and beat her ass because she should not say. Then he would only give her water baths and not let her wash with soap. I'm gonna say allegedly because she's still Jane Doe right now. I'm gonna say allegedly. You know what I mean? It's allegedly. But she wants a DNA on two of his kids because they took two babies out of her. They kept her locked up and took, they had her babies at the house. Two babies they took out of her stomach. That's not allegedly. Damn. And allegedly, I'm gonna say allegedly, she had a three with Diddy and his own mama slash auntie and she had a three with Nelly and Diddy. That's not a leg. No. Allegedly, 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 allegedly. Sorry, Ashanti. I love you, Ashanti. I love you, Ashanti. Congratulations on the birthday. I love y'all together. I'm just it was 20 years ago. Don't get mad at 20. We talking about 20 years ago. Don't get emotional. We just telling our truth. People please don't get mad. It's some of y'all's favorites. It's gonna, it's gonna kill y'all. It's gonna devastate y'all when you hear the names involved. Because we all grew up on these people. We all love these people. We'd have never thought these people would have been involved in the things that they're involved in. We're just telling our truths, everybody. And it was 20 years ago. So please don't judge us or say we lying. We're, we're being nice enough to let y'all know what's going on from an insider point of view. If you were not even there, don't tell somebody they lying when you weren't even there. And that's why he made people sign NDAs that said, you can't talk about what you on fuck. Cause when we get faded, like it's like he come out in us like, and that's forever. That's why it's haunting us to this day. What what do you, how do you think he was able to, you know, but besides all the, the things you guys were laced with, you think he put maybe some, his DNA or something kind of strange into that concoction? Yeah, the reason why he like to take, yeah, you know, you we have a chakra in our anus, you know, guys and girls. And your chakra is a pathway to your soul. So because he's working for Lucifer, his goal is to take souls to hell. So that's why straight men, he wanted to turn them gay. You know, even if a gay man was gay, he wanted to make him be a pedophile and be with a minor. 
his thing was to take the soul. So that's why after a certain amount of time, he would make an announcement like, you better go on home because, you know, the party really about to crack now. And and all of a sudden, everybody's demon would come out. And that's on God. Like, have you ever gotten, like, so faded or drunk where your body is doing stuff, but in the morning you have no, rec like, literally no recollection. Like, if it ain't from your homeboy showing you it, like, man, I recorded you, nigga. If it wasn't for him showing you, you would swear up and down you didn't do that shit. But then when he show you the video, you're like, what the... I jumped in the pool. I don't even know how to swim, my nigga. What? Like, I don't even remember nothing. I, that bitch, like, what are you... It was like that. That's that. That's that. Allegedly, that's why he took Kim Porter out because he has sex with his daughters, allegedly. The twins. The whole family has sex. The same girl I was telling you about that, the, the, the uh, Jane Doe, the 11 and 14 year olds, the same girl he made strap Justin Bieber down. And while and when she had to strap him down, while Diddy and two of his sons took turns, and she had to sit there and watch, and Justin Bieber was crying and begging to be let up. And when she went to unloosen him, Diddy socked her in the face in front of Justin Bieber. So we trying to get in con get with Justin because he would corroborate. Allegedly, Justin, call it. get at me, Justin. We be confidential. We ain't gotta tell the press, nobody. Holler at me, Justin. I'll put y'all together. She was there. You was there. I was already out of it. She told me that story, but. Just, this Jane Doe was around from 11 years old to about 15 years old. Had bore two kids. I'm not gonna say which one she believe or hers that he's been raising. You know what? On a side note, where is the white girl? Where's the white girl that to spend their time on a daily basis doing evil, not doing good, not going around to the to the. Uh, homeless shelters for single moms, the single mom shelters and saying, I'm gonna pick three women who ride the bus every day, who got three kids or more. Three kids, three three women getting cars today. That's what I'm gonna do when I get my money. I'm gonna wake up and go to the women's shelter. And, and they say you have a good report and you ride the bus every day to get to work and you paying your, your kids daycare and all that. You get a car, you get a car, you get a car. Just, I don't want no victim press. himself you because know you know I he already did that time back then for helping launder in that money. That's not allegedly, he did time. So now he's back in a twist that involves, you know, Diddy and his association. And his wife was there that night. And maybe Diddy set it all up and lined it all up so he can get footage on him to blackmail him, you know, me, use me, have me thinking I'm gonna come out, you know what I mean? And maybe like Jacob is a butt, I, you know, it did go down.